Congratulations. Great to meet you. So How's the house? The have house? Have you seen inside yet? Uh, well, I have not been inside okay. yet, but I'm sure people are going to love this. I love the movie. Thank you. Good. Did you see it? I saw it, and I was on the edge of my seat. It was awesome. Great. Oh, that's great. So tell us about being here in New York. I mean, the Bourne films have a special relationship to New York. Well, it's very exciting. It's very exciting to be here because um, our writer-director is actually lives in New York, and he's sort of been the architect of the Bourne series, Tony Gilroy. And so we're really excited to be here in his hometown having this premiere. And this is the second one that we've done in New York. We did the last part of uh, Born Ultimatum here, and then we shot for quite a while in New York here, and it's the best place we can think of the film. Talk about the Born legacy and how it fits into the franchise. Well, it really is the legacy, because what we're seeing is that the movie takes place at the same time the last movie took place, but we're seeing the effects that the last movie had on the bigger picture. So you're seeing sort of what chaos Bourne's return here to New York has had on the rest of these programs that are sort of black ops. So we're seeing this expanded world. And talk about Jeremy Renner's character, Aaron Cross, and what he's going through in this, uh, in this story. Well, Jeremy's part of another program called Outcome. Uh, there are a lot of these programs, and they're all sort of on their own. And we see sort of, again, what effect the sort of uh, renegade Jason Warren has on these on these different programs, and Jeremy's character then has to react to what's happening in the bigger picture. See, Jer Jeremy's character in this movie is he's a, a relatively innocent, you know, intelligence agent who's involved in a program that the ripple effect of what Jason Bourne is doing in the last movie completely upends his program. And so it's all of the forces that come to bear on him and how he struggles to keep himself alive. And also there's a woman, Rachel Weiss's character, who's instrumental in keeping him alive. And just lastly, the great cast. Yeah, we have a fantastic cast. A lot of New York actors are in our movie, which we think is fantastic. And it's just really, really, really wonderful cast that we love to work with, and I think they do a fantastic job. They want to. Pardon? I said they want you. They, they want do. You. Well, it's nice talking to you. Take care. Good talk. Bye-bye.